what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Authorities say a McDonald's late night manager who fired shots at a car in a Cleveland drive through line is facing assault charges. An arrest warrant was issued Thursday for 52-year-old Mark Fort after police say he shot at a customer's car Wednesday. Police reports say Fort handed three women in the car a smoothie and a woman in the back seat splashed water outside the car as it pulled away. The women told police they heard Fort call them names followed by two gunshots. None of the women were injured. They quickly drove away and called the police who examined the bullet hole near the car's tail light before issuing an arrest warrant for the night manager. Now, of course, the night manager had a totally, totally different take on all of this. He said, before the SUV left the drive through the passenger in the back seat sprayed him with a super soaker that was filled with a foreign substance and it burned his eyes. The night manager and another employee told the police that they didn't have any other problems with customers that night, and they denied knowing anything about a shooting. <laughs> you gotta give it to the other employee. That's a ride or die employee right there. Nah, I ain't seen nothing, no, 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 I ain't nothing happen. Nah, I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> now, I normally wouldn't do this, but I got to because this goes to the heart of the character of the manager. This is not the first time he's been in trouble with the law, as you may have guessed. This dude got eight prize. Check this out. These uh, convictions include carrying a concealed weapon, having a weapon as a felon, unlawful restraint, Drug possession, attempted trespassing, forgery, shooting a man at a jack-in-the-box in 1985, killing three guys. At, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> the last two I'm playing with y'all, last two. <laughs> hey, but it could have been true. I mean, a dude that would pull out a gun at McDonald's and he the manager and start shooting at a car full of women. You know, that dude ain't wrapped too tight. Now, here's the deal. Now, y'all know that the woman is straight up lying. You know they lying. They got in that line, and they, they was on one that night. They was playing around like they probably normally do. And they thought it'd be funny to shoot that dude with that soaker. They probably even dared him that they would do it. And they hit him up. And he put that piece on him. Now, the girl in the back seat, I'm sure she was being egged on by her friends. See, it's all fun. It's all shits and giggles to somebody get killed. Because they could have easily lost their lives. And the manager, of course, could have destroyed his life. But they would have been dead. Man, do you know the probability of one of them being killed when dude is shooting at that car? Man, man, bullets ain't got direction. Bullet can't turn left, turn right, go up or down. Bullets go straight. So, and I, and I know, I personally know a few people who've been killed and, uh, you know, in a, in a moving car when somebody just shooting at the car wise, uh, when the car is, uh, is, is moving away from them. I've seen, well not seen, but I, well I have actually, I've seen one case, I've seen at least one case, a uh, homie of mine, I don't even think he was trying to do the, do the killing. He pulled out a shotgun, dude was driving away, he aimed and boom, blew the back of his head out. Dude was driving away in the truck. I don't think he tried to kill him because 
I say homie, but he more like a, you know, like a, you know, it's more like associate type. You know, we ain't, we ain't like cool, cool like that, you know. But I don't think he was, you know, he wasn't, I don't think he was about that life. He wasn't really about that life. But he pulled that pistol. I mean, he pulled that shotgun. And I think when he killed him, uh, I think it was an accident. Uh, because at least he broke down like it was. And I'm sure it was an accident because he, he the type of dude that was shooting the air, you know, he, Club clothes, he likes shooting the ass, stuff like that. Let people know he got a gun. You know, he wasn't really about that life. But they could have easily lost their lives. And you see it happening all the time with people playing. People just taking their life for granted, just playing. See, I know what I do. You know what you'll do. But you don't know what the next person will do. See, that's what you got to guard against what the next person would do. And so what happens is that oftentimes we underestimate the power of what somebody else would do. You see? So I think that's what happened in this situation. Because I can guarantee you, if one of them would have just said, hey, you know, don't do that, that man might have a gun. That probably would have been enough to make them say, you know what, you're probably right. You got to think about when you, when you, in these situations, any type of situation, before injecting yourself into a situation, you need to think about what is the worst thing that could happen? If I do this, what is the worst thing that could happen? The worst thing that could happen is that you lose your life or somebody else lose their life. But for those of us who are just really, really selfish, we don't really care about anybody else losing their life, we got to think the worst thing that could happen is that I could lose my life. So can't be taking your life for granted like that. Now, as far as the manager, the manager, pretty much his career is over. He has, he really does have nine, uh, nine um, convictions on his record. So that means that somebody has given him nine chances at redemption and he still ain't got it yet he still ain't figured it out so his career is over and this this is for everybody out there who may not be doing critical thinking you know like here's the deal if you thinking about working in customer service and you're not a people's person you're not a people person you're not a kind of person who can take a whole lot of shit you know you got a hot temper you, you're hot-headed this may not be for you customer service may not be for you because you're going to find yourself in a major jam you're going to end up hurting somebody or somebody going to hurt you because people are off their rockers these days and they ain't got no damn sense. So you got to be real careful out there. And stop looking down on people just because they work at a fast food restaurant. Shit, I used to work at Kentucky Fried Chicken. I was a cook. I was the coldest cook in all of South. I would, I would dare say all of, I was about to say South America, but <laughs> all, of, all of North America. They used to come from far and wide to come see me pop that 10, 10, 10. <laughs> It's all about the batter, you know what I'm saying? The flakiness. See, y'all don't y'all don't give it no thought. When y'all go to Kentucky Fried Chicken and eating stuff, y'all eat that crispy chicken. Y'all don't y'all don't give it no thought. How did that chicken get to be that crispy? You know what I'm talking about? It's an art to it. You know, before I go, I just when I heard about this thing, the first thing that came to my mind wasn't really the, the, the safety of the women or even the safety of the manager. First thing that came to my mind, or even the, ridiculous, the ridiculousness of it, the first thing that came to my mind was, what would Grimace and the Hamburglar think of all of this? No more talk. What, what the haters talking about?